In this video, I'm going to show you how I use Cursor to build an amazing website. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I make amazing UI elements using 21st Dev and also show you how you can add a user authentication login system using Clerk. All right, let's start with the easy stuff. If you come to 21st.dev, there's a lot of interesting UI elements I can have. This is the element that I want. I want to add this footer to the bottom of my site. All I need to do is copy prompt, go to my cursor, and then I bring up Composer. Now, I prefer Composer over chat because if you type it in chat, you have to keep clicking accept and all these things, but Composer basically runs the entire code for you. Press agent, and then I say, add this footer to the bottom of the page. And cursor, it's going to work its magic. Okay, so the agent runs a bunch of code and then it'll get stuck when you need to run a command. So I'm gonna press run command. All right, it looks like cursor has added it to my site. So let's check it out. Okay, so the footer wasn't added. So that's not a problem. I still can't see the footer on my page. Can you fix it, please? Okay, great. It sees the issue, the footer needs to be added to the layout. So let's see how it does that. Boom, the footer's there, but it's all black. So I don't want that. I think it's because there's a light mode and a dark mode. Oh, there you go. So now it's added that amazing footer to it. So let's add one more. I really like this button here, get unlimited access. Let's add this button into the website. I wanted to replace the star on GitHub button. So again, I just paste in the command. Run. All right. So it should have added button. Let's check it out. Refresh the page. It's not there. Well, it's highlighted the wrong button. No worries. So I tell it, hey, it's the wrong button. And then I tell it to revert the original top right. Make it run again. Let's see what it does. All right, the agent has done his job. Let's see if it works. Bingo, we have a rainbow effect. Okay, so that's how you use 21st Dev. And now let's add a authentication system. So you need to go to clerk, sign up, and let's create a new application. So what do I want? Mm, I want Apple. And I want probably GitHub. So I want these buttons. I create application. Is a Next.js. And then there's all these things, right? Now, what you do is basically you copy and paste them into your terminal. Add and authent using these instructions. All right, so I've copied each one of these, the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, all of them. Pasted them into my cursor. And then let's just submit and see what happens. And just like that, it's added an authentication system. So let's see how it goes. Let's go back to our website. I need to disable this dark mode thing. It's there's no login button, so let's let's add a sign-in button on top right. Okay, I see where my problem is. I understand why there's no sign-in, because I need to include this. So let's add this. So you need to copy this. You need to basically create a sign-in page, right? All right, let's see how this does. 
Okay, something interesting happened. So it basically forces me to sign in. I can't even go to my original page. So now I need to fix this. I want to see the original home page and go to sign in when I click the sign in button. All right, now I've got an error and this happens all the time. It's okay. Just come to your terminal and then add to composer and see if it fixes. Just go, please fix this. All right, it's fixed the situation, but there's no sign in button. So the problem was I couldn't see the sign in problem. So what I did was I screen captured the screen and I sent it to cursor and told it, hey, could that button be blocking the sign in button? And it turns out it was. And now you get a sign in button. Let's see if I click on it, I can sign in. Yes, we can. Let's do it. Let's log in. Verify. And boom, I have a login system. And there you have it. That's how you use 21st Dev to create a stunning visual for your UI for your website and also easily add in a authentication system to your website using Click. If you've enjoyed watching this video and you want to learn more about how to use AI to increase your productivity, go to the description and join my community, my AI community, where you can join many others to learn how to get better at AI.